Bob Shank here in front of our ministry center on Capitol Hill, starting a new week with you after two very eventful ones. Began two weeks ago, of course, with the tragic shooting at the Navy Yard, 12 innocent lives lost, the shooter taking his own life. A lot of trauma in the aftermath of that. A lot of prayerful pastoral care of souls in my capacity as a chaplain. And we're hardly over that. The pain is very real. The loss is very real. Then comes right on the heels of that, of course, our own sad moment in front of our ministry center in the garden the, with our Ten Commandments monument that we fought five years in a legal battle for the right to erect this display. And now the police are working with a theory that maybe somebody used a strap connected to a vehicle that sped away and pulled down 850 pounds of steel reinforced granite. And ironically, there across the street at the Supreme Court is not just the court, but special construction projects involving masonry work, stonework. So here, stonemasons are right across the street while these characters are pulling down uh, our stone monuments. So we're going to keep you posted on that. Of course, we're committed that the monument is going to be repaired, but we need your help with that, your generous financial support. You'll be reading more, hearing more about that. We thank those who have already contributed generously to the reconstruction of this. And then immediately after that was an historic day in front of the White House when we had a prayer gathering for American pastor, Iranian-born, but U.S. pastor, Saeed Abedini, who has just crossed one year in prison in Tehran for his Christian humanitarian work there. We called for a prayer vigil on that one year anniversary, and many people came, including, probably for the first time in American history, a sitting United States Senator who knelt next to me and Reverend Pat Mahoney in prayer, praying for Pastor Saeed. We were pressing the White House for some action. Looks like we got it because the reports are now that in President Obama's historic call to President Rouhani of Iran, he spoke to President Rouhani about Pastor Saeed and told him he wanted to see his release. Now with our own Pat Mahoney, who as I'm reporting to you now is on a plane headed for Turkey, where he'll attempt to enter Iran and assist Pastor Saeed, he may end up conveying the pastor home here to his family in Boise, Idaho. We don't know but we'll keep you posted on it. We certainly continue to need your prayers and your support as we have never needed them before. If the last two weeks were eventful, I'm sure the next two will be even more eventful. Stay in, stay in touch with us and stay in prayer for us. Thanks.